What's going on YouTube? Saints and gets you here with more Paper Mario. Got our little little broom flying friend heading back to Peach's Castle. Hope you had a uh, wonderful weekend. <clears throat> Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. Report your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's headed to Tone Town for now. What? Unbelievable. That was Goomba. What was the Goomba King thinking of? I used to start around and make him king because he begged me. And Mario whips him so easily? What a wimp. Uh, Kami Koopa, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your foulness. Try to be calm. Go Goomba King is small time, and I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter because while you hold the star rod, you are definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> By the way, Kami Koopa, those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please, don't worry yourself. Each is held separately, and each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Hmm. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? It's that one at Koopa Bros Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Hiya! Bow, bow now. Here come the Koopa Bros. Uh huh, oh yeah, we're the coolest cool. Psst, Gammy Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? Then Koomba King was gigantic, and even he couldn't beat Mario. Psha! Get real, King Bowser. Yeah, Goom King was huge, but he was totally Wimpola. We're nothing like him. See, we got this thing going on. The power of teamwork. So, Gary, we can put the herd on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent. That's the spirit. Sell it, Koopa Bros. Show the king that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everyone? Oh. Oh. That... This is oh. How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh yeah, excellent. Really, I'm not even. I'm not evenly impressed either. Mario won't have a chance to finish him with that attack. Well taken, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa Bros, about the capture Star Spirit, I've locked up in your fortress. Who's guarding him right now? Um. Uh, nobody, sir. You know, we're here, and so... You idiots! Use your heads! Get back to that fortress and guard that star spirit! Zip zoo! Alright. So let's get to Toe Town, shall we? Snag this. Might be useful later. Go ahead and knock this spring out. Wow! That's going to be useful right now. Mm, yeah, no. Thought I might be able to get back there. I can't. It's okay, though. Because we are now in Toad Town. Mario! I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in an uproar. Princess kidnapped. Fairy castle uprooted. It's bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about this. Please, Mario, save her highness. Yeah, that, that's the plan, bud. And Luigi's having himself a little sing-song. I wonder what my body brother Mario is doing right now. Whoa, Mario, it's good. It's you, good to see you. And you're all right. After all that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. Oh, and who are you? I'm Gumbario. Nice to meet you. I see. Great. Just great. You're an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See? Someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh well. Take care of Mario, okay? Bing, 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 bing,
I don't think there's anything back here yet. <clears throat> so we'll just come back. I think each chapter has a different thing you can do there. I just always forget to come back and do it. Because I'm um, <laughs> not that good at doing side stuff in this game for some reason. Gossip. Alright. Let's head straight to the Shooting Star Summit. And I don't think I have enough. I think it shows in my stats how many I have. Three, yeah. I need 20 star pieces for two badges that I want from over here. Um, I think the earliest I can do that is like chapter three, maybe? Just because of how all the star pieces are scattered about and how you have to get them. Uh, actually, no, I think in chapter three, I can double back. I don't think she gives me any fortune telling of use. Why am I even going up here? I know I can't do anything up there. But up there is where I'm get those two badges that I'm thinking about. Um, yeah, let's just do this other stuff. There's like one, maybe two star pieces up here. Cause here's one. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I forgot how to get up to that platform. Oh well, we'll figure it out. I don't think there's I don't think there's anything you can actually get from it, but it's there. What's up, Star Bro? Hello. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We. Oh, there you are. We're the seven star spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful star haven. They stole our prized treasure, the star rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The star rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we have can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend. When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more... more... And then terrible things will happen. Sorry. Reading. It's the responsibility of some Star Spirits to keep Star Rod safe and use it properly. You must keep Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Oh my gosh, so my dog. Sadly, right now, you're not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful in making wishes with Saw Rod. He's terrible, too terrible to behold. Once we send Star Spirits are united in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser. Even with his newfound strength, with our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Oh, static on the line. At last, we nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although, it looks like we're... Although it looks like we're there beside you, it's only an illusion. We're using your powers to communicate across long distance, but power is slowly failing. Right? We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance, but even our strength is fading. Ha! I wasn't too far off. Uh, we've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Beach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You are our last hope, and we will... 
Mario, looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. You think Princess, the Prince is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Now we get our first iteration of Peach in the Castle side mission. And she's crying, and she's going to make a wish. Mario's probably hurt, everyone's in prison. Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Heh, <laughs> Bowser will help you. Wahahaha, <laughs> my dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I hold Sora, no one Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop doing voices. And the power that grants everyone's wishes, it's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? Yeah, ha ha ha, he he he. Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must so upset their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you, you know, want anything, all you need is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You better not cause any trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has the most interesting laugh in the world. Oh, please, if only somebody could help me. Huh? Rap a tap 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 a rap a tap tap it a rap rap. Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. But you're you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Haven. Grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wish that somebody could help me. Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do that? Uh, sorry, that's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Starhaven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy. Something for a small star can do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured, and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to do to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink. You think you can find Mario? I want you to give him this. Give this to him. This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Oh, wait, Twink. Wait one second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that? I'm fine and he shouldn't worry, okay? Can you tell him that? Of course. I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? Mario, where are you? I'm running across a bridge, Princess Peach. Bonk. Oh, sorry, 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 so sorry. I'm huge Harry. Oh, wait. You're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you. You are a star, Barrow. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to do to give something to you. Right? Ah, yes. Here it is. Here it is. Take it. You got the lucky star. Star-shaped pendant. Let's use action commands. Action commands are pog. That's lucky star from Princess Peach. Now it's yours. You can use action command. May I take a moment to explain what action command is? No. This is important, Mario. I think you'll want to know about this. Nope. Oh, okay, great. I don't even have to explain. 
Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific. You'll be much tougher in battle now. Yeah, that's the plan. Here you are! What? It can't be. Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Cammy Koopa. She'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. <laughs> Alright, Gumbario, how much how much HP we're working on this magic Koopa? Use magical rod, max HP eight, attack power three, defense of zero. Magic attacks are no joke, Mario. You better take these guys seriously. Alright, if I'm taking them seriously. Boom! Four damage. Solid. Blocked. <laughs> Extra commands OP. I was about to say, watch me mess up the head bonk. Action command. <laughs> that would have been just my luck. All right. Bam, bam, bam. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know you'll be able to defeat Bowser. Oh, yeah. I'm going to return Princess Peach aside. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. Oh, dear. I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm all right, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. Yes, yeah, point of, like, all my games, bro. Alright. There he goes. Back to Bowser's Castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario. Let's get down to business. This is not to defeat the Huns, sadly. Um, It is to defeat the Koopa Troopa Bros. It's just Koopa Bros, though. But... Let's go on through. Oh, Mario. Merlin was looking for you. He lives in that house with a spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but there you are. It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Hello! Merlin is out! Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you he's out! Bro, you told me to come here. What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Oh yeah, it's me, Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. You literally just told me to come here, man. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I'm a wizard. When I was reading the stars, the other day, an came to me. What I discovered is important and concerns you, but before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It's a very long story, but I'll try and keep it short. It was in the old days, there was an ancestor who was up on shooting star summit as usual, blah, 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 and there's so much dialogue, Mario. Uh, has an attention span of, like, a puppy dog of all of three weeks. And fell asleep. That's all that matters. Huh? Hey, Mario, are you listening to me? What? <clears throat> oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, all right. Anyways, that's why I'm able to help you. If you get lost in your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save as Princess Peach as quickly as humanly possible. But, according to my second sight, your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Koopa Bros. To reach Koopa Bros fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. All right, let's take us a nap. I would love to refresh my body and soul. Thank you. And that dialogue is the game's way of saying, well, we don't have it yet, so no point in mentioning it. Go ahead and save again real quick. And borrow you a little slow on the draw there, bud. Hey, Toad Bros. Stanger's going Koopa Troopers. Koopa Fortress is a really bad idea. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask the old man Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for us. I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. Man, there are some angry looking toads. 
some angry, angry looking toads. All right, Merlin, come again? Shared toads walking the east side of Toad Town? That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never. I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Ooh, Merlin's about to say, not on my streets, boy. Merlin takes no smack from nobody. Told you he can't pass. Take off. Hmm. You aren't toads, are you? What? Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ornate toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. Meh! Hmm, just as I thought. You're the Koopa Bros. Ha, who'd you guess? It was us. We were perfectly disguised. Shucks. Black, yellow, green. We retreat for now. Ah, uh, Mario, those imposters were none other than Koopa Bros. You must pursue them to their high alt. The Koopa Bros Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Tro Bros Fortress, you'll need a help from a blue shelled Koopa. There's a strange portent in Koopa Village. You might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go charge coins for fortunes, bud. Alright, save again. Storming Koopa Bros Fortress. I wonder what the... I forgot. What, is this the same Easter egg song for every chapter? Let's give it a second. Let's give it a second. Hold on. Yeah, it's the same, same song. It might loop to something new eventually, but... What's up? We'll go ahead and take you out. Let you tattle on these guys, just so I have their stats. Scoop Trooper, everyone knows Scoop Troopers, their battles, their followers, men's HP 4, attack power 1, defense power 1, shells are hard. If you can't flip them over, if you can flip them over, their defense power will fall to 0, which will make it much easier for you to defeat them. You can flip, you can flip them on the power block or a jump attack. Or a, mm, actually no, I don't think okay camera works. But hey. Got him. Like I makes mention the Quake Hammer before you find the Quake Hammer. Oh yeah. Come at me, Paratrooba. Or Paragoomba. I meant to go for the other one. It's a good thing I didn't! It's a good thing I didn't, because I messed up that action command bad. <laughs> oh, man. I think there's a hidden block? Nah. Not yet, at least. Come at me, spiky boy. Mario, I need you to take him out. Perfect. Then I can take him out. I didn't really need the full two damage, but just for practice. <clears throat> Dizzy attack badge. Heck yeah. Bright jar. I'll take that. It might be useful in the Koopa Troopa Fortress. Power block will definitely be useful. I'm technically behind it. Ah, damn it. <sighs> Alright. You got a hit on me. Good job. Yeah, I mean, you guys are stuck there, so. Might as well enjoy. Now 
Yeah, each time I jump on you, it resets your... It resets your position, man, so... I think it's only the sewer ones that can get up on the first turn, and... Uh, the beetle guys. But those aren't until chapter two. Give me the bridge! I'm not gonna mess with that guy yet. I'll mess with you though. Alright, Gumbario. You got this first guy. No, I can't do that. Can't do that. Can't be jumping on the spike, Goombas. Not yet, at least. That's a spoiler. Can't get that star piece yet either. Eh, let's fight this Koopa fella. Ah, it's fine. Hmm. Alright, Gumbario. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe I messed that up. I haven't tattled a spike Goomba yet. Spike Sunderheads 2 2. Oh, they can paralyze you. Uh, I wasn't fully aware of the paralysis bit, but, uh, yeah. I must have blocked that out. Uh, Gumbario, take him out. Thank you. And I will take him out. Let's block this Goomba. Nice. A quick one tap, and we are done with that fight. Easy does it. Go ahead and knock that out. I think there's a max out for this. Yeah. Oh, well, there's some syrup back here, so we'll take that. Boom. And down to Koopa Village. And I think that'll be the wrap up for the episode right there. I am going to try and keep these around 30 minutes. Um, of course, I'll try and complete a chapter by then. Or at least get to an important part. Can't be? Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village. I wish you were in big trouble. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is in drop over because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are like, right? don't you, Mario? They look like this. Mean guys. They're really naughty. And they literally just stole his shell off his back. No, no, stupid fuzzy, get back here with my shell! Give these kind little Koopas their shells back. Oh, thank you very much. You're the best. Oh, thank you, Mario. I owe you one. I just can't walk around without my shell on. Talk about embarrassing. Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe from fuzzies, all right? Oops, you don't have one. Well, what's your overalls? Yeah, that's fair enough. Ooh, a dried mushroom. Okay, so he does bounce here, but he also bounces here first. Ah! 
Ah, uh, I was like two pixels up. Come on, bud. They bounce around almost like if it's random, but it's not. <clears throat> it's weird. It's all right. I used up a little bit of time there. I'll make up for it. Koopa Leaf. This one actually sort of goes in away from you. Oh. That fuzzy took my shell. I ran after it, but it just laughed and taunted me. Yeah, I... Am I supposed to jump on this one? I don't think I've ever been able to catch this one. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me try... Dizzy attack it. I've never tried to see if that works. Nope. Maybe I just need to let this guy chase it towards me? Found a gap to go through. I don't think there's a way to. Yeah. I'm not wasting much time on that, alright? Where... There you go, bud. You are welcome. Yet another one. Who's there? Kind of busy right now. What? Why? Could it be? Aren't you Mario? You are. My name's Cooper. Oh, I'm so psyched to meet you. Uh, that's me and here's gotta be fate or something. I need a huge favor. Hope you'll help me out. Uh, this wild fuzzy took my shell, which next to my life is the most important thing I have. I can't go without my shell, period. It's way too embarrassing. Uh, yeah, I'll get your shell back, bud. Garbin them womp. Mjork. I might want close call on, but it's fine. I have a mushroom. If I really need it. I need 42 more star points. So close. So flipping close. Mjork, Mjork. Come get it if you can. Yeah, yeah. Mjork, guess where I'm hiding? Alright. Third tree from left to right. Mjork. Not bad, chump. That was just a warm up. Guess where I'm hiding? Second tree. York, York, you got me twice? Must have been luck. Now I'm serious. York, guess where I'm hiding? I think it's this one again. Yeah! No! I give up, Uncle. Here, take the stupid shell. Got Cooper's shell. You're too tough for me. I won't be Betty anymore, I promise. Maybe. There you are. I realize stuff to take stand against these fuzzies. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. I don't even care what I 
No, I have no shell on. I'm gonna show you shell fuzzies. What's what? I already got the shell back, dude. Here's your shell. Oh, yes, yes, this is my shell, all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got my shell back. Uh huh. You're the greatest, Mario. Oh, you big time. Good to hear you're happy. Say, Mario, I have an idea. Do you happen to know Professor Colorado? No. Naturally, he's a Koopa who's a professor in ar of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer. Right, well, I live next to him. I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was in my egg. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world solving mysteries like he does. So, do you think... Could I? Please take me with you, Mario. I'll help. Come on, let me go. What do you think, Mario? Yeah, let's go. Aw, oh, yeah. I'm on my way. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. Cooper joined. Press down on zero throw to make him throw himself at an item where he switch in the distance. While in battle, he can attack an enemy on the ground with shell toss or attack all enemies on the ground with power shell. When you want to switch your partner, press right Sierra key button and select the member you want to use. Sweet. You literally make him go in a shell and kick him like you do in the original games. That's great. Change my mind, sucker. How about a fight? Uh, I don't even care about the HP on these guys because Cooper's just gonna power shell. If I had multi bounce, I think I would have knocked out like two of them there. I should have. Ah! Almost had it. I don't remember if that had 3 or 4 HP. I'm about to find out. Yeah, they only had 3 HP? York, no, we'll be good, we'll be good. That's right. Get out of here. Alright. I'll save once I get back to... HP plus badge. For three badge points, I get five more HP. Which, next level up will be badge points, definitely, because I need to beef up my ba badge points. Okay, so I'm going to save. I'm going to end the video there, and then we'll pick up with a few side things here in Koopa Village, and finishing up the chapter, hopefully. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a marvelous Monday. And I will see you again next time playing more Paper Mario. Until then, peace, peace.